Guys, I want to say right away. This tool lets you bring your boldest ideas to life, creating both realistic and fantasy videos up to 20 seconds long. You can turn any text into a video, which can be shared on social media or used for marketing purposes. And today we are going to explore what Sora is really capable of. Hi, I'm Daniel, welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. In this video we will explore Sora's interface and its key features. I'll generate a video using a pre-generated image, and then we'll learn how to craft short clips in various styles, from noir to a balloon world. At the end, I'll show you how to create entire stories by combining multiple shots. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description down below, so don't forget to check them out. So let's dive in and discover what this powerful AI video generator can do. Sora Tutorial So guys, we're going to talk about an amazing video generator. Sora from OpenAI. Right now we are on the Sora overview page, where you can find basic information about this AI tool. The menu bar also includes sections like features, pricing, and more. Let's check out the pricing. Here you can see that there are two plans. ChatGPT Plus and ChatGPT Pro. Since Sora is an OpenAI product, ChatGPT Premium subscribers also get access to it. The Plus plan costs $20 and includes 1000 credits, which you can use to generate around 50 videos. The Pro plan costs $200. Now let's go to our account and see what we have. This is the Featured tab, where you can check out videos generated by other users. If you switch to the top section, you'll see the highest rated videos from different time periods, day, week, month, year, or all time. Let's click on this lion, for example. If you hover over the prompt, you can see the exact instructions the user gave the AI to generate this video. It's amazing to see how detailed this prompt is. By the way, having access to other users' generations helps us improve our own instructions or simply get inspired. We can also easily use the same prompt in our projects. For example, we can remix a video, edit the prompt, or check out the storyboard. This is a tool we'll discuss a little later. Now let's head back to the main menu and open our library. If we click on All Videos, we'll see that it's empty since we haven't created anything yet. The library also has a Favorites tab, where you can save your favorite generations, an upload section for your own files, and an archive for past projects. Ok guys, let's take a closer look at Sora's features. Here we have a chat field, similar to other AI assistants. If you want to use your own files for generation, you can easily upload them by clicking this button. I'll give it a try and what do we see? Before uploading files, we need to accept the media upload agreement. To proceed, you'll need to check all the boxes, confirming that you won't create adult content or upload violent images or breach other rules. Just standard guidelines. Next, click the Accept button. A new notice just popped up, reminding us that we can't use photos or videos featuring people in our projects. Unfortunately, our subscription doesn't support this. If you try, the generation will fail. Just click Got it to continue. Now let's try creating our first video. I pre-generated an image of an old castle in Dali. Since we have selected a 16 by 9 aspect ratio, Sora suggests cropping the file. I don't want to crop it, so I'll go with a 1 to 1 ratio instead. In addition to adjusting the aspect ratio, you can also change the resolution. Right now we have 480p, but with our subscription, you can go up to 720p, though the generation will take longer. You can also select the duration, either 5 or 10 seconds, or choose the number of variations, 1, 2 or 4. Let's enter the prompt. Click 
click on Generate Video and wait a little. The video is ready. Overall, it turned out pretty well. We can see the fog passing in front of the castle, but it doesn't go into the windows. Also, I don't see any silhouettes. So, I want to make a few changes. We can choose from several options. Change prompt. Edit prompt. View story. Recut. Or remix. You can also blend in a file from your computer to combine with our castle. But I'll go with Remix and specify that I want to see the shadows of the castle's former inhabitants appear in the windows. Let's see what we get. These are the two versions that Sora generated for us. Let's take a look. Maybe there's something flickering in the air. And here we can already see a slightly altered castle. In the second video, it's even more modified. And in the fog, we can make out a shadowy figure. However, I didn't notice any silhouettes in the windows. It's not quite what I expected. But that's what we got. I suppose Sora could be great for social media producing short videos for platforms like TikTok or Instagram. Let's try this prompt. A futuristic rooftop disco on a skyscraper. Silhouettes under neon lights, with the glow reflecting off the glass facades. We'll set the aspect ratio for YouTube Shorts, which will cost about 25 credits. Let's see how well Sora handles video creation for social media and whether it will actually be usable. Starting the generation now. Let's wait for it to finish. And here we go. It's done. Let's take a look. This rooftop disco is, well, quite questionable. The neon reflections on the glass surfaces don't really work either. Honestly, I probably wouldn't use this video for social media. Let's try something more dramatic. This time, we'll use a prompt that could serve as a prototype for a movie scene or maybe an ad. Two strangers meeting at an empty intersection. In my opinion, that's a pretty simple task. So let's see how Sora handles it. I'll choose a landscape ratio to make it look more like a film scene prototype. The generation is in progress. Now we just wait a bit, as usual. Oh, I just realized I used the wrong prompt. That's why we got a widescreen rooftop disco. But interestingly, in this format, the video looks much more acceptable. So let's consider this a use case for adapting content to widescreen format. Where Sora managed to create a more realistic video. Guys, let me take a little break to ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free, but helps me make even more fun tutorials for you. Thanks. Now, let's go with the prompt I planned to test earlier. A dramatic encounter in a dark, rainy setting. Two strangers on an empty intersection beneath flickering streetlights. I'll keep the aspect ratio at 16 to 9. Let's generate a 10 second clip. So it could serve as a film scene prototype. Adding it to the queue and waiting. All right, let's see what we got. I really like how the scene starts. It truly feels like a dramatic story set in a dark, rainy place. But the way the characters move is awkward. 
It seems like they're avoiding looking at each other. And if you pay close attention, their movements feel very unnatural. But overall, I like this video more. The next feature in the Sora Chat interface is presets. They help add a specific atmosphere or style to the generated videos. For example, the archival preset gives the look of old archival footage or a documentary film. The colors are subdued, with a worn-out film effect. Grainy, scratched and retro. So let's try applying the following prompt, which fits perfectly with the preset. A 1920s city scene. And now we'll see how Sora handles this task. Now let's take a look at the video. We can see that the archival mode adds these torn edges. But once again, Sora struggles with generating humans. Their movements appear quite unnatural, as we can see in this frame. So that was the archival preset. Next, we'll try the Film Noir preset. This style is inspired by black and white detective films from the 1940s and 50s, featuring high contrast, harsh shadows, dramatic lighting, and a mysterious, somber atmosphere. Let's run the next prompt in this mode and see what we get. And here's the result. A detective scene in a dark alley. It looks quite interesting. There's definitely something compelling about it. The next preset is Cardboard and Papercraft. This style makes everything look as if it's been cut out of cardboard or crafted from paper. Let's use the same prompt. And here's what we got. Paper houses, cardboard streets, even a little cardboard car. This style has a certain charm, and it could definitely be useful for some projects. Next, we have the whimsical stop-motion mode. It creates the effect of frame-by-frame -frame animation with a slight camera shake and somewhat abrupt movements. The preset accentuates the fantasy and toyish nature of a scene, similar to a puppet-style animated film. Let's try it with this prompt. Clay characters dancing in a cozy living room, animated in a playful stop-motion style. Now let's check it out. Hmm, it's a bit hard to tell if the stop-motion effect really comes through. But this is what we got. And finally, we have the Balloon World preset. This one makes all objects and characters look like inflatable balloons. It's a bright, fun style. Great for kids' party videos or cartoon-like scenes. Let's give it a try. And here's the result. Floating balloons bumping into each other. With some prompt adjustments or remixing, this style could definitely be useful in the right context. The last feature we'll explore in Sora is Storyboard. It's a video story builder that lets you refine each shot individually and write a custom prompt for each one. Let's try using it to create a video with a more directorial or advertising approach by generating a few scenes based on our own prompts. For each scene, you can customize the aspect ratio, resolution, and duration up to the 10 second limit of our plan. You can also choose how many variations to generate. 
let's turn off preset mode and create our first scene. By the way, you can also upload your own photos or clips, making this a true video editor. For the first scene, let's go with a wide shot and use the following prompt. A sunrise over the city, with the energy of a new day in the air. In the second scene, I want to see a cyclist in a bright jacket riding along a bustling street, smiling to convey a sense of freedom and motion. And for the third scene, let's make it an ad. We'll specify that Sora should show a fictional smartphone called Lumio, with a logo glowing against a vibrant neon gradient background. That should be enough for a three-shot commercial. This will cost us 50 tokens. Let's start the generation. Our request is now in the queue, so we can move to the library and wait for the final video to process. And here's what we got. A cyclist is confidently riding through the city, followed by the ad of a fictional Lumio smartphone in the next scene. Of course, it would be great to polish the video. But overall, the concept of creating promos with multiple shots is pretty interesting. We can also refine the final result in a new storyboard, remix it, you already know how to do that, or blend it with an uploaded video or one from the library. Finally, we can loop it to make the video play infinitely. Here are our three scenes, which we can also adjust individually. So this is the Sora video generator. Quite interesting, but still not flawless. Final thoughts. Alright guys, let's wrap up this tutorial with some final thoughts. Sora can create bright and captivating videos quickly. As we saw in the top tab, the user examples include some true masterpieces. However, the AI requires very precise prompts. Otherwise, Sora might produce surreal plot twists or unexpected visual artifacts. There is no doubt that over time, the quality of these generations will improve, making this tool the future of video creation. If you're excited to try it out, or if you have already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear about your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Until next time.